Hello and welcome to the third video in this tutorial series in which we will be exploring some of the standard functions in Python. These functions are a part of the standard Python library and can be used out of the box without the need to import a external library. The first function which we will be looking at is the input function. This function is used to gather input from the user and store it in a variable. It can be used like this. So the program will now wait for the user to enter some value and the user will be prompted with this text which we supply inside the input function. Once the user enters some value and hits enter, that value gets stored in our variable over here. So now we can print out that value and it should contain the value which we provided. One really important thing to keep in mind is that the input function converts whatever value is entered into a string. So if you are working on something which requires a number to be entered by the user, you would have to typecast it manually to a integer or a float. Let's see how. So as we can see, we do get the number which we inputted, but it's in the string format as there are quotes around it. To convert them into an integer, we can use the int function like so. And in a similar way, you can use the float function as well. The next function which we will be looking at is the len function. This function gives us the length of a string or a list or a dictionary. This is how it can be used. So as we can see, in my name, there are six characters which we can print out by using the length function. The length function can also be used for lists. So as we can see, there are four elements in this list and that's why our length function returned four. Now we will be looking at the range function. This function returns a list of numbers to us as requested by the user. For example, if I say range of 10 and then typecast that to a list, we will get all the numbers from 0 to 1 below 10, that is 0 to 9 in a list. And if I say range of 5 comma 10, then as expected, I would get a list from 5 till 1 below 10, which is 9. Now let me store this value in a variable. And let's say we want to find the minimum value in this array or list. Then we can simply use the min function and then pass the list inside this as a parameter. So in this list, the minimum value is 5. Similarly, if we want to find the maximum value, we need only change the function to max, which is 9 in this case. What if we want to find the summation of all the numbers inside a list? Then we can use the sum function and then the supply the list inside it as a parameter. So in this case, the sum of those numbers is 35. Pretty neat, right? The last thing which we will be discussing in this video is the in keyword, which is a really handy tool in my opinion. It simply checks if a value is present in another value and gives us a yes or no output. In other words, it gives us a Boolean output.
so that wraps it up for this video and in the next one we will dive into the control structures of python and we will be looking at the if else conditional block thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one